We've got our Mark 7 Apex 10 torn apart for a caliber changeover. This is a great time to do some routine maintenance. So with the machine torn down, what are the things that we're gonna look at for maintenance? So we like to break it down into two aspects, daily and kind of preventative maintenance, meaning keep an eye on it. Mm -hmm. You know, greasing these machines is not a daily thing. They retain grease pretty well, sealed bearings, you know, we like to think they do their job for a long time. Uh, so when you're in this kind of situation, your daily is literally just your light machine oil on any bronze bushings, your main ram, your external guide rods uh, here. Gotcha. And on the preventative side, so the manual says like 10,000 rounds. It really depends on how dirty of a reloader you are, mm -hmm. how much uh, wear and tear you're putting on these parts. And you were saying you like that Starrett light machine oil, is mm -hmm. that right? Starrett, S-T-A, double R-E, double T. It's a tool and instrument mm -hmm. oil. Mm -hmm. Any lightweight machine oil will be fine. Gotcha. Uh, I use gun oil for my first few, year, few years with the machine. Uh, as long as it's pretty light and mm -hmm. it spreads well. And people ask about like lubricating the, uh, uh, the drive line. Mm -hmm. A big part of that is your daily lube up here. Mm -hmm. It seeps down, it coats everything. Hmm. It saves you from having to get in the guts of the machine every time to apply that. Interesting. But uh, when it comes to grease, you know, we do have to pull the uh, uh, sprocket off on the uh, apex to access the drive shaft from the right-hand side. Mm -hmm. The left-hand side is the same, uh, same access point, but you can access it no matter gotcha. if the machines are together or not. And then uh, the drive line, keeping your drive line tight, meaning the drive shaft, which goes side to side, mm -hmm. there's two set screws that secure your crank to the drive shaft. Check mm -hmm. those. Whenever you're doing grease, it's your time to kick the tires, man. It's yeah. your time to do the checks, the machine's apart, or you're already in maintenance mode. Mm -hmm. You know, check the set screws. It's that simple. You're gonna prevent rubbing, you're, you're gonna prevent premature wear to the important bits of your machine. Yeah. So other than that, keep it clean, keep it lubed. Mm -hmm. If you notice it, or actually let me give you my best piece of advice. Okay. You get a brand new machine in, you're gonna know what right looks like. Mm -hmm. It's gonna feel smooth, it's gonna feel <laughs> like it's supposed to feel. Mm -hmm. Okay, take a mental note of what that feels like. If you notice it being different from that, that's your time to dig in and be like, hey, maybe I have a rogue primer that is under the shell plate, or mm -hmm. maybe I am slacking on my lube. And yep. You can uh, address it and assess it then. Gotcha. Yeah. About every 10,000 rounds, you should be digging in and at least looking to make sure you got grease where you're supposed to have grease. Yep. Now, we've also got some things that are part of our caliber change over here. Mm -hmm. We've got our yep. shell plate off. Yep, our shell plate. Uh, I like to put grease uh, always towards the center. I don't want grease where my cartridges are being made. Right. You know, I don't want to get that in the mix with powder, primer, et cetera. Yeah. So I keep it towards the center and that'll naturally spread out. You know, it might be a little stiff when we first get it put together, mm -hmm. uh, but it'll spread out, do a great job. And then same thing with our shell plate nut. Gotcha. And a quick little tip for everybody is when you're doing this, I like to keep grease out of my workspace and workspace out of my grease. <laughs> so when I'm doing this, I can just rest it like that and I accomplish yep. both goals. Sure. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is grease also goes around your uh, wave spring around the center of the ram. Oh yeah. That provides a little bit of upward tension on the shell mm -hmm. plate, gives it that nice smooth rotation. And uh, but man, if you look at it and you see grease and it's red, mm -hmm. you're probably fine. And which grease do you recommend? Uh, Lucas Red and Tacky number two. Gotcha. Yeah. You can find that at auto parts stores, Amazon, mm -hmm. whatever. So a handy dandy syringe for, or a grease gun with a needle fitting. Mm -hmm. are great for getting into those drive shaft uh, lubrication points. Yep. Uh, and otherwise, a syringe like this or having a tub with like a horsehair brush, mm -hmm. you can spread it around, makes life a little easier. Gotcha. A lot of people have this grease already in their house too, because mm -hmm. it's a great all-purpose synthetic grease. Yeah. Or, or lithium grease, excuse me. But Very yeah. good. Well, now I know what to check for and when. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And if it doesn't feel right, look into it. It should feel nice and smooth. Okay. That's going to keep your Mark 7 machine running smooth and in good shape. That concludes this video, and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're gonna to wanna to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you're interested in becoming a professional gunsmith, check out the Sonoran Desert Institute. They've got a degree program, they've got a certificate program, and you can study from home. 
Learn more at sdi.edu. Thanks again for watching.